So if we're going to do f plus g of x, basically we're adding x plus 1 plus the square root of x plus 1. Yes? OK. So guys, remember my conversation about like terms. To add x with anything, you've got to have some more linear variables. Do we have any more linear variables? Nope. Add 1 to something, we've got to have 1. And do we have any other numbers? Yeah, we do. We have another 1 here, right? But that's under a radical. You can't just like take a number outside of a radical and throw it inside of a radical and combine them. That doesn't work like that. So therefore, we can't do anything. This is simplified. That's done. That's your, your sum is this. That's it. Now let's go and find the domain. There's nothing you can do to combine this. What do you want to do? You want to add 1 inside of 1? OK, try. So 1 plus the square root of, well, <laughs> let's do this. What is 1, or let's do here, 4 plus the square root of 4. Now what is 4? 4 is 4. The square root of 4 is what? 2. 2. So it's really answer 6. But you want to say 4 plus 4 is the same thing as square root of 8. Is the square root of 8 the same thing as 6? No. So it doesn't work. Multiplication, you can do under, like if this was like this, you can multiply those to give you square root of 16, which would be 2. But it only works when they're both, when you're both under a radical. If one's under a radical, one's not, you can't do that. Same thing with addition. You can't add either on it. Yes? Why can't you just um, square both of them? We're not solving. Okay. So we're not trying to... Because if you're going to square over here, you'd have to square there. And then anyways, you can only square the side. So you'd have to square it like this. And then it's going to get really confusing because you're squaring trinomials, which would not really be that much fun. So we're only, only you're going to want to use the squaring problem when you're solving. In this case, you're not really doing that. So the easiest guys, I'm giving you easy. This, just don't, you can't do anything. That's it, done. Now, you do need to find the domain. The domain, do you have any, do you have any fractions here? So we don't need to worry about it making the denominator 0, right? But we do have a radical. So we know that x plus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0, right? So x has to be greater than or equal to negative 1. So my domain is negative 1 to infinity. Done.